Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this review video, we will unbox this great product from Creality. This is a 22 watt laser engraver and CNC cutter called Falcon 2 from Creality. Most people have used a 10 watt or 20 watt laser diode, and you might be wondering what this 22 watt laser is. It is basically the same 20 watt module, which is a combination of 4 5 watt lasers. It is combining and focuses all of the together and produces a more powerful laser output. We will focus on the features and capabilities of this laser later on. But here are some of the samples of engraving done with this laser module. You can engrave any images, photos or design of a piece of wooden block. Apart from the wooden block, you may encrypt the images on the metal block as well. There are some other materials like plastic or rubber. The engraving can be done here as well. Not only the engraving but you can also literally cut the wood as well. Thus, this product can be used as a CNC cutter as well. So watch this video till the end to understand the assembly, features and application of this Falcon 2 engraver. So let's get started. I got this package almost 2 weeks ago from Creality. Let's unbox this package first. The package comes half assembled so you don't need to worry about the assembly process. It is very simple. The first and most important thing here is safety. So they have provided safety glasses for eyes protection from laser radiation. Look at the smile on his face after putting on that glass. Here are some stickers from Creality. You can fix this somewhere. Here is a quick guidebook that can help you in assembly. This space has an operation guide. This is the main frame of the engraver machine which weighs almost a few kilograms. These are the sands used to adjust the height of the engraver. So first, attach all these four sands off on the frame and rotate it to fix tightly. The frame is ready now to be placed on any solid surface. This is the air assist pump, which is powered by the machine itself. This eliminates the need for any additional air pump. The airflow can also be adjusted in this air assist pump. You must clean the filter cotton regularly if there is any dust deposition and in case airflow is weakened. From the main frame, use a hollow rubber pipe and insert it to the air assist pump. The end of the air assist pump has a PS2 connector, which can be connected directly to the main body of the engraver here. This is the 22 watt laser module that I was explaining earlier. Slide the laser module and put it here on the movable frame. The height can be adjusted and this two long screw is used to hold it tightly. This laser module is connected here using this reliable connector. Hence the laser and air assist pump assembly is done. During the engraving process, the laser slides in the x-axis in the left-right direction. It also slides in a forward-backward direction like this. There is another air pipe here. This air pipe is attached to this laser module similar to the air pump. The device also comes with two beds which basically is the surface where we put the object for engraving. This is a metallic bed kept at the bottom to prevent damage to the table or any surface. Along with the metallic bed, it comes with a honeycomb bed essential for airflow and cooling control. 
place both of them at the center of the engraver machine. To power this machine, a 120 watt DC adapter is provided. It operates a 24 volt and 5 ampere current. Plug the adapter into a 110 volt or 2020 volt power supply. Finally, connect the PS2 plug to the machine so that the entire device can be powered. Below the connector, it has a switch when press turns on off the device. There are some accessories and tools that come with the package. There is a support for the leg, which can be used to increase or decrease the height of the engraver. The height is adjustable. Some screw tighteners and knots are also provided. A small cable for connecting some accessories. This is a part where we can put cylindrical objects like bottles and strut engraving. A mechanical toolbox is here which has an SD card drive and some C-type converter. An SD card provided can be used to put G-code files and start the engraving. In this box, we have few wooden samples, cables and laser label. Some other wood samples and metal sample is also provided. Now our device is assembled so let's learn how to use them. The laser module has three indicators. The air indicator detects airflow, the fire indicator detects flame, and the lens to indicate whether you need to clean it or not. The details of the laser are written here. The laser module can be slid up and down on the basis of application and engrave mechanism. This is the level metal. Put it under the laser module and adjust the height when you want to start engraving. At the top of this module, a reset switch is provided which can be used to reset laser settings. Avoid laser radiation and direct contact with the eyes. Always put safety glasses before operating. The air pump is here which is used to adjust the airflow. You can rotate this button and adjust the quantity of air that is needed during the engraving. This laser engraver doesn't have a touch screen, but multiple buttons are used to control. The home button returns to the home positions. When this frame button is pressed, you can know the frame of the laser area and adjust the position. This button will pause and start the laser engraving process. As a safety feature, we have an emergency stop button. This button can be pressed to stop everything immediately, if anything goes wrong. This is the key to start the machine. Rotate this in a similar way you wrote it to start your bike. To operate this machine, there are two most popular software available. They are Laser GRVL and Lightburn software. I used Lightburn software. Download the Lightburn software from the official website. Install it on your computer system. The software UI looks something like this. All you need to do is press the image here and do some settings and start your laser engraving journey. To test the power and strength of cutting, I used few settings from the light burn software. This is the proper indication of the design of the mark based on speed, power and interval. You can see the depth of cutting and how powerful the laser is. The same thing can be tested on metallic plates as well. The metallic plates also show strain in interval, speed and power units. First, I tested the CNC cutting feature. This is the result I got while cutting plywood at 100mm speed and with 100% power. The wood is perfectly cut into two halves. Then to cut the circle, I use the same settings of 100mm speed at 100% power. Look at the finishing, it is perfectly cut again. There are some black marks or ashes due to the little more heat. To reduce this, you can slightly reduce power. Then to cut the rectangular area, I kept the speed to 250mm and power to 90%. 
well it was not able to cut this thick wood in this setting. I then typed some letters and went for engraving. This letter is engraved at 500 mm speed and with 50% power. See here the letter is properly engraved and looks awesome. Now I want to engrave this design on wood. So I selected 1500 mm speed and 30% power. Well the quality looks good though the power could have been lowered down for better engraving. Now I increased the speed to 4000 mm and power to 40%. Then I started engraving this design. After 20 minutes the engraving was finished and the quality is perfect this time. To engrave this flag I increased the speed to 12000 mm and power to 80%. The result looks cool again. I then printed howtoelectronics.com at a speed of 20,000 and power of 90%. The ledger is visible perfectly on the wood. Finally, to design this drawing, I adjusted the speed of 6,000 and power to 60%. Apart from all this, here is what is engraved on the wooden plywood that looks something like a deer. These are the engraving of images of my friends who wanted to see themselves on a piece of wood. The image also can be engraved on a metal plate which looks better than the wooden part. Not only metal and wood, you can also engrave the design on leather as well. The engraving can also be done in plastic and so many other objects. The Creality has provided me this bag and enclosure to close this engraver from outside as well. This will protect the device from external interference like dust and water. If you want to buy this awesome laser engraver, then check the link in the description. It will cost you around $1200 to $1300. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.